while using quick strike rigs with the safety of these fall muskies in mind for the live bait. Is he going away from you? Yeah. You want me to get back? He's, go he's under this line. They aren't much good for a hook set if you don't have the right positioning set between you and the fish. He won't go down, he's freaking sitting right there. Yeah, I can see him. You can't let the muskie hang on to the sucker for too long either while you try to line things up. You got him, buddy. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, there goes the sucker. <laughs> Otherwise, you risk the muskie spitting out the sucker, or worse, really, the muskie swallowing the sucker with a tearaway hook still attached. These live baits and quick strike rigs, boy, this time of the year, especially in northern Wisconsin or some other places like that, they're just really probably your best opportunity to get a late fall muskie. So they can make or break your trip. If you don't have them, your odds really go down. On the other hand, it's extremely important to know how to use them because the bottom line is if you use them wrong, you're actually going to be out there killing fish. You absolutely cannot let those fish take the bait for a long period of time. Those stinger hooks are barely underneath the skin of that live bait. That front hook or rubber band system is barely in there. It's all set to break. That's what you're doing. You're getting that big hook set and you're breaking that system out and then into the muskie's jaw. So right away, anytime you got a live bait maybe over the side of the boat, and if that fish gives you an angle right away, you always want that angle away. So you're gonna set the hook in the opposite direction of which way that fish is going. Now, in a lot of cases, you got big wind or, you know, the fish may be moving funny and, and you don't know just by the way that muskie grabs the bait you got to make it move okay so there's two ways to do that either you start putting a lot of pressure on the fish actually force it to make a move and then set the hook in the opposite direction or something that really works well is just starting that big motor and you literally go back and you want to park right on top of that fish you want to scare it and if it moves at all in any different direction at that point all you got to do is set the hook right away got him buddy Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I guess we can shut off the motor now. I think he's got it. Oh, <laughs> that thing just skied. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. Tarpon time. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice job, Josh. I got him, buddy. Oh, right. oh, that's a wow! Good one. Big fish. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Nice, nice fish. Right. Go. That is a nice fish. There you go. Oh boy, that is a nice one, dude. <laughs> that's a chunky one. Yes, it is. I'll tell you what. That's See a bigger fish than I her. thought. Yeah, now she's got she's some got chompers. She's got some chompers, yeah. <laughs> nice fish. We like that. Oh, she's really yeah, nice <laughs> fish, Josh. Really nice. Oh. Very cool. Like cool. Cool. Real nice fish. <laughs> Good job, Sweet. man. Gotta love suckers. Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> it's been fun. It, yeah. it, it's so fun to watch that and, and just see that hook set and feel Nothing it, you know. Better than setting the hook on a <laughs> big old musky. Brick wall. Yeah, exactly. Brick wall, man. Leading information on tackle and techniques to make you a better fisherman. Presented by Mercury. This guy's a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> and, we, you know, we've had Robin Singer on our show many times. He's the Mercury professor. We should dress you up in a little professor's outfit. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the, the cool thing is, is this guy knows every little detail about Mercury engines. And, Robin, we're going to talk today about a class of engines that is probably hits the heart of most anglers and that would be you know engines in that 40 to probably up to 115 really but especially the 40s 50s 60s 75s seems like the trend has been going to four strokes and this is the new 50 horse four stroke that we have here give me an idea what makes this engine so special well it's no longer a two stroke world in this category four stroke uh, it meets the emission levels it's about clean technology but the customer gets a big benefit you know the, the 50 horse Merc 
is a four cylinder in a world that competes against three cylinders. Oh, cool. So what's that mean for our customers? Smooth, quiet operation. Mm -hmm. But it's not a slouch either. I mean, it's a large displacement, long stroke engine, so it builds a lot of torque, get that boat up on top, get you to the fishing hole. So comparatively, that extra cylinder is gonna give us even smoother running engine compared to four strokes uh, across the board? Yep, because it's the way the pistons move. You know, we're opening the valve and closing the valve. That's how that fresh charge of fuel and the exhaust get out. And you know, it's a simple engine to maintain. Single overhead cam. Once a season, you change the oil. A couple hundred hours down the road, then maybe you look at the plugs. It's got a high output alternator. We got to keep the electronics up. Got to keep the live wells going. Keep that bait alive. Uh, 18 amps delivers it there. You know, and overall, just looking at the engine, it's quiet. No matter what type of boat you put it on. And let's not forget for your type of fishing, the big tiller. You know, for, for the ultimate handling when you want to stay on the fish. Yeah, you know, with Tracker Marine, there's a couple new 16-foot tillers that are coming out this year. And particularly for one of them, this is going to be the perfect engine. There's no doubt about it.